Hey everyone, it's Kevin Oxner here with visualproductivity.net. Let's talk about Stormboard today. They've got some new features out and I wanna just give you an idea of some of the things that I like and let's just look at this. Now, I did look at Stormboard about a year, year and a half ago probably it was, and I looked at it for the Visual Mapping Review Series 2014. There were a lot of things I liked, there were a couple things that I wasn't a big fan of, and now they've gone ahead and they've made some things. They said they've got nine really significant changes. They've got more, but there were nine they were really proud of and wanted to show off. So I said, well, you know what? Now's the time to go in and have a look at some of these things and let's, let's see what we can find. Let's go through each of the nine really quickly. I'll tell you what I think is good. And I'll tell you, there's one feature in here that is blowing me away. I'm excited about it and I wanna share it with you. All right, let's get into each of these. First thing is, let's just move this over here. I, I still love grabbing these things and like flipping them back and forth. This storm board is kind of in the whole Kanban system where you have these little sticky notes and you can have them and move them around to different ideas. This first one, the idea is the sidebar. What they've done is there used to be a little bit of a sidebar. Now it's just a huge open creative space. Love it. Great job making it simpler and simpler. Uh, one of the big things that I find can be challenging when people obviously are using collaboration software is some people are more tech savvy than others. If you're not very tech savvy or if you are, I think this is a really clean, easy layout where you can get to what you need and then when you don't need it, you can go ahead and hide it. Second thing they've done as opposed to having to click on something, it's I can go wherever I want and double left click. Now this is really, really good if you think about it. If I'm having a conference call with you and you're saying, oh Kevin, I can't quite figure this out, hey no problem, just double click anywhere in the screen and it'll add something. Here, watch, I'm gonna double click, pow pow, now I can add something, my new cool idea. Well, let's make it small. And when I hit enter, pow, it's in there, it's entered. So just double click, enter your idea, enter, so that's it. It's as simple as that. It's very streamlined, I like it. Uh, the align to grid, oh, this is really cool. So I'm just gonna pull a couple of these things out. The whole thing with the align to grid is that I can choose a grid. And it's a little tricky to figure this out because there's no box. The boxes will be up here on, on the top menu bar saying where the align to grid is. The secret is to select some things. So if you left click, nothing really happens because left click means I can just grab it and move it around. If I press the control button on PC, Mac users, you guys know whatever it is, the equivalent on a Mac, hold on the control and I can choose a couple of these I can also just hold on the control and just grab my mouse and just highlight everything. Oops, let's try that again. <laughs> and let it go. And now you can see there's an align to grid. I can also choose the color. I can change the color of certain uh, certain one of these, uh, these stickies. I'm gonna align to grid and this is just cool. Okay, I can do all of it like this. I have 10 ideas now or I can go like this, like this, like this. Um, I was sitting there playing around this thing. I'm like, oh, this is, this is cool. I had nine, I made a little square. Uh, this is fine, this is good stuff. So let's arrange it in two rows of five. Now I'm gonna have to go find where, which ones we already talked about. Uh, this is really cool. This means I, got, I can move things around, drag and drop them, and then I can go back and align to grid, do whatever I want, and then once I've deselected, I can go back and take some more ideas and move them to a different spot. Anyway, really, really like that. Let's see what else we haven't talked about here. Okay, uh, template picker. Okay, I wanted to save that near the end, but we can do it now, that's fine. Uh, the template picker, if you look on near the bottom row, there's a few things that you have. The template, I can simply click on it. Right now I've got a blank template. So I can see it blank because it's just a blank wall with sticky notes. And they actually have quite a few. If you're into agile, you can you know, I'll just scroll down. There must be about 10 different ones you can use for if you're, if you're using an agile process. Uh, problem solving, they've got goal setting, there's calendars, educational. So just, I don't know, I just think a lot of pretty pretty cool stuff. Let's just grab one at random, okay? Because I don't want to, I didn't actually spend too much time going through this, uh, but I do like what I've, I like what I've seen so far. So let's um, let's go back here. Let's just pick something. Let's just do retro, oh, it doesn't even make sense. But well, let's play, let's just pick one and it doesn't matter what it, uh, what it says on it. And we'll go ahead and we'll hit the checkbox and open it up. What they're saying is that if you can go ahead and move things around into the different sections, if I go ahead now and I change the template, what they're saying is it's gonna allow me, allow these to stay grouped together in similar areas across the different templates. And I think that is spectacular. I think it's a really good idea. All right, adding videos. I haven't added many videos in the past, but here, if you wanna add a video, I'll double click. 
and you can see there's a little video thing. So I can go in here and let's just type in something else. You're making me. Now we're called visual productivity, but in the past we were called you're making me. There we go, lots of Kevin all the time. So we can add a video. And the benefit of this is I can do a search through YouTube and I can add videos uh, without having to leave, without having to leave Stormboard. So that, that actually is really cool. Uh, the sketching, I haven't done too much playing around the sketching, but you can draw on top of images. It's kind of like on PowerPoint. Not everyone knows in PowerPoint, if you hit Control P, it brings up a little pen and you can draw on things. Same idea here. I, I like that idea. I like being able to put something up and then someone can draw an arrow to it or they can circle something and it, it adds clarity to what you're talking about. I want to talk about my, I think my favorite point right now. I don't know why I've waited so long. Uh, my favorite point is this. I'm going to double click. And if you look up on, in the menu bar, it says rapid fire. And right now there's an X beside it because rapid fire has turned off because it's not for the faint of heart, folks. Let me tell you. I'm going to turn on rapid fire and I'm going to show you what it does. Let's do it. Let's say if we're, if we're getting ideas and you and I are collaborating, I'm like, you guys just give me the ideas. I'm going to write them down. Idea one, right? Bang, I hit enter, boom. A new item already pops up, idea two. Idea three, yeah, three. You get the idea, just like flick, 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 flick. When I first started using this, because I know before it was like, okay, I gotta choose a new node, choose a new node, and it was slow. This thing is almost too fast, this is ridiculous. And every time I'm like, whoa, whoa we got a whole new, <laughs> new idea again. Uh, I love this. This is the, what I, I think is important to productivity and as far as getting ideas out, right, is, is get the idea out and, and then, oh, if I can get my spelling right, and then worry about it. There's one little trick though is that if I want to try and add lines, you can't. If you, as soon as you hit enter, boom, it's gone. But that's fine, you just learn to use dashes and periods and because really it's a sticky note. You want one idea, couple of supporting ideas on it and that's about it. I really, really like rapid fire and you can turn it on or off like this. And if I don't want to add any more ideas, I just go and I just close it. I don't know if I can hit escape. Let's try hit escape. Escape works too, look at that. Uh, so I think there's a lot of pretty cool stuff in here uh, that I really am, am enjoying. There you go guys, I'm just, I'm, I'm really happy with uh, what they've done. And they're teasing, they said one big improvement, one small improvement. So there sounds like there's some more more improvements coming in the pipeline. Uh, overall, Thornboard guys, uh, good job. I uh, love checking it out, and I'm sure we'll be back uh, talking about it again soon. Hey guys, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching the entirety of the video. I appreciate it. If you like the video, please do me a favor. Leave me a comment down below. Let me think what's the coolest part, the coolest idea for you. Have you used Stormboard? What did you like? What didn't you like? Leave me a, a comment. Leave me a, a like. A, you know, thumb it plus one. That would be huge. Share it with your friends. Tell everyone. Tell the world. And we'll see you next time for another video from visualproductivity.net. Until next time, guys, I am Kevin Oxner. We'll talk soon. See ya.